Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Terraria. Guys, uh, you may notice I have some new apparel right now. <laughs> that is uh, the shadow armor. I don't have the shadow helmet. There wasn't enough. Oh, sorry, my game froze up there for a second. There wasn't quite enough. Um... Oh, what is that thing? Oh, that was just two demon eyes, but they were right next to each other. You know what? While we're waiting uh, for the Blood Moon and I'm going to summon the Eye of Cthulhu that I have. Because why not? Let's see how he likes the uh, vile form. And yeah, he is increasingly easy to beat. Um, less of a boss now and more of a nuisance. Which is awesome. Yeah, and this the new armor is just great. Oh, I am missing an armor. Oh, sweet. I got a uh, mana thing. <laughs> yeah, and so I think this episode, now that I have the uh, demon pickaxe, I am going to... Oh, I also got the demon pickaxe. I probably should have told that to you guys first. Oh. Didn't quite uh, dodge him the way I had hoped to. Yes, but I think we might explore the Hell World. Um, so I think I'm pretty excited about that. Um, oh, guys, while I'm uh, focused on the Eye of Cthulhu, I would ask um, if you guys uh, would please hit the like button and uh, maybe even subscribe to my channel if you feel like doing so. I would really appreciate it, and that will keep you in contact with any like future videos I do. I also make videos for other... Um, games. I don't know uh, if you've seen any of those, but I make uh, videos for Limbo, Dwarves, and World of Goo. Um, Alright, let's see here. Doing some damage. And the Vile Thorn is pretty awesome. It allowed us to pretty effectively kill the uh, Eater of Worlds, and after the Eater of Worlds, I think it doesn't seem so intimidating, you know? Although he still does some damage, but not nearly as much as he, as he used to. So, not nearly as challenging the battles it used to be. So yeah, I think uh, I think for this episode we'll just uh, after we kill this guy. At this point, it's really not. It's kind of funny how little of a challenge it is. I think we will. Uh, sweet, well, that was easy. Um, take this opportunity to collect the hours we used up and the hours go surprisingly long distance sometimes so yeah we will uh huh. I think I don't think any arrows will go past here. So, uh, pull out my magic mirror. And then collect the arrows that went this way. Um, 
So yeah, the Eye of Cthulhu is kind of a silly boss. I hope you guys don't mind me putting that in the video. Um, I know you've seen me kill him like ten times now, I think. Uh, ooh, Fallen Star. Well, I don't think there's a very good chance of, uh, of any uh, arrows coming further than this. So I'm just going to check to here. Oh, Fallen Star. Right, I'll check up on the bridge I made for any fallen stars, and then after that, I will uh, descend into the hell world. See what we can't find down there. And this guy seems to be stuck down there. Oh, yep, another fallen star. And we actually have use for the mana, the mana now, so. Uh, Getting these stars is actually a good thing for a change. Um, yeah, I love that. Uh, this. I'm gonna put up warm food for now. I'm gonna make a mana crystal, which I hope I have. Yep, I can use that. Um, which chest is it in? Okay. Don't need the lessers with me. I don't need the Demonite or with me. I don't need the Shackle with me or the lenses. Or the Corruption Seeds or Fallen Star. I'm just trying to make some room so that, uh... Oh, we got some intruders. Get out of my house. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Do I have anything good in the piggy bank? Some gold I can drop off in here. Some silver. Alright. Well, let's take a look at the hell world, guys. Um, oh. Oh, dear. Alright, that's better. Sorry, I, uh... I dug some more up in here. And, uh... Um, and having done that digging, uh, yeah, and having done that digging, that actually, let me see where I am, alright, you can see up here is where all the, all the blue mushrooms are. So I'm gonna collect some of those. Now, I don't. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this while I was doing the battle. I was a little scatterbrained because I was doing the battle. Um, but uh, I. I now have the shadow scale scale mail uh, and the shadow greaves. But I only still have the silver helmet. I didn't have quite enough shadow scales or, or whatever they're called. To, uh, to get that, so I'll have to defeat the uh, Eater of Worlds again sometime. I don't know if I'm going to do that on camera, or if I'm just going to uh, save it for later. I'm going to put, however, the Mining Helmet on for just a minute here, because it's really tough to see on the way down from that... Uh... Now, there is going to be an issue of when I actually get to the Hell World. Um, I don't believe... Yeah, come to think of it, I don't believe I, uh, I think there's, like, lava up to the edge. So, um, and we're really close right now. Uh, unfortunately, when I was digging the, the hole out a little bit more, I, um, oh dear. I may have unleashed some lava everywhere, uh, as you might be able to see right here. Oh dear. Um, okay, my computer's going really slow, guys, so I might have to take a break for a second if it doesn't speed up very soon. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I am back, and... Uh, Things are actually going well. I am, in fact, in the Hell World. Um, 
there's a lot of enemies down here that are way, way stronger than I am. Um, that are going to kill me very quickly, probably. Um, um, my plan is to use this awesome nightmare pickaxe to dig myself uh, away from these enemies and to get some health stone. Oh god. So, I don't know where the lava came from, but uh, apparently Hellstone just releases lava. That's awesome. Well, I got myself one Hellstone ore. Um... If you look at my potions, guys, you can see from that the number of times it took me to try. I've actually omitted all of those from the video. Um, it took me a lot of tries to get down there. Uh, that was the first. That was actually the first time I successfully had landed, and you saw I got one piece of Hellstone ore. Uh, it's a little frustrating, guys. Um, you know, maybe I'm not ready for the hell. So I tell you what, I'm going to go. I know to the west out here, there, um, to the west, there's a jungle patch, and I wonder if that might lead to the underground jungle, so I'm going to go over there, uh, I'll pick back up with a video once I get over there. Um, be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I am back, and I am at the edge of the jungle above ground, um, and I am hoping that that leads to uh, an underground jungle of some sort. Oh, oh. that did not work uh, as I had hoped. Oh wow! Got two fallen stars in here and some piranhas. <laughs> um, so yeah guys, uh, I am at the jungle. And this is again above ground, but I would imagine if I had to take a guess, I would say that the most likely place for the underground jungle to be would be where the uh, where the above ground part of the jungle would be, and that just makes sense, you know. Oh well. So I got some piranhas, uh, some zombies, you know. Fun stuff like that. Oh, and, and an eater of souls. So, I have the whole gang together right now. Um, all I need is some of the Eye of Cthulhu now. Oh, I got a goldfish. I think I have two goldfish now. I could. Okay, I, okay, I remember where this is. This is where the corruption is where uh, I tried to take on the. Um, the Eye of Cthulhu, uh, no, the uh, Eater of Worlds, uh, but to no avail. Because um, I fell in a chasm and then died a horrible death, <laughs> as is often the case. Uh, yeah, guys, actually, if you would um, mind taking the time in the comments to leave uh, what you'd like to see me do next. Um, in addition to the standard Terraria like uh, playthrough, um, I'd be willing to do you know like spotlight videos or something like that, um, a challenge or anything uh, that you guys think would be cool to see. Um, after all, if you guys are the ones watching the video, then uh, it only makes sense that I should take your input seriously. Um, so yeah, so just make sure to uh, to tell me what you think because. Um, I guess how else will I know, right? These guys aren't so tough. I mean, they're a little tough, but it's really not that bad. Alright, so we have, like, jungle interspersed with corruption. Quite an interesting combination. So 
So I wonder if this little cavern here leads to any sort of underground jungle awesomeness, or if it's just a dead end. Oh, cobweb. I have so much cobweb, by the way. Oh, I got some jungle grass seeds. I think that's a, uh, what's shine potion do? Oh, I emit light for five minutes. That'd be awesome because I could increase my defense. Let's see how this goes. So I think I'm in the underground jungle, guys. Just sweet. Very, very cool and awesome. Can't wait to see what kind of crazy enemies and stuff lie in here. I don't think there's any boss for the underground jungle. Although there is the King Slime. Um, which I don't know if that would be a, a boss for, for the area. And I don't know... I don't know what all I'm looking for in the jungle. I'm just kind of seeing what's in here. Um, but definitely the enemies in this area seem to be a, a better match for me um, than the uh, than the enemies in uh, than in the. Uh, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. <sighs> and it's kind of funny to get, uh... Huh. So it's like, regular old background. Okay, so I'm I am actually officially below now. Alright, sorry about that guys, my computer just started freaking out on me. It does that. I'll be glad when these zombies stop spawning in here. Just everywhere. And um Okay, my computer's really chugging. Okay, okay, okay. It's better. That is one of the really frustrating parts about... I'm actually considering building my own computer um, because I don't have the money to really uh, get, you know, any sort of high-end type thing. But I um, I think with a little bit of ingenuity I might be able to put together a, uh, a decent, uh, like, uh, desktop PC. I, I mean, I know desktop's kind of gone the way of the dinosaur in a lot of ways, but... Um, Ooh, silver War. Um, nonetheless, I kind of think I might do well to get, uh, it, it'd just be cheaper to get a, a high-powered desktop as, a, as opposed to a high-powered, uh, laptop. I mean, those are just kind of hard to do, you know? Don't really have the money to, like, get, uh... Oh, this guy is tough. Oh, this is a man-eater. Okay. No wonder he's tougher than the, uh... than his above-ground counterpart. Is that silver? Yep. And from the looks of it, a lot of it. Yeah, I think that guy was... That was a man-eater, which is, I guess, a, a bigger form of the Snatcher. And he was doing pretty significant amounts of damage. Uh, and that's even with all of my armor on. So as soon as this uh, uh, shine potion wears off, I might be in some trouble because that will force me to put the mining helmet on. And the mining helmet, as you know, uh, has two less defense than the uh, than the silver helmet that I have. So. That's 
kind of suboptimal. I have some slimes. Oh yeah, and there's also a hornet. A uh, of some kind. I don't know what that was, but it did some damage to me, that's for sure. Let me see if this connects through to this way. Um, Alright, these guys are kind of mean. Uh. Looks like ranged weapons are going to be a, a must on this mission. I'll wait for him to come back up towards me so I can land the finishing blow. And again, I don't know how to make half of the things um, that I guess you're supposed to make with this stuff. Um, See how he likes to. Oh, he can't quite reach me. It's kind of funny, actually. It's like I'm teasing him. That being said, the the file thorn actually isn't that powerful, I guess. Come on, buddy. Oh God. My. Oh. I was eviscerated by the man-eater. Huh. Well, let's see what I got. I managed to collect a bunch of little crap. Um, I got two vines, four jungle grass seeds, um, a bunch of silver ore, but I don't really need that, unfortunately. Um. Hmm. Alright guys, well, I think I might call this, uh, hmm. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to. I think, uh, I'm going to pause the episode and see if I have, I don't think I have enough stuff to make anything yet, but I'm going to pause it and see how much I do need, and maybe pick it back up back at the underground jungle. Alright, be right back, guys. Alright guys, I am back, um, and yes, I know this is not the underground jungle, um, but I figured uh, the reason I've been having such a problem exploring the underground jungle was because I don't have um, good enough armor, and so if I could get the, uh, the shadow helmet, I would get the, I would get, I think, like two extra defense plus a set bonus. So my thought is, I have a bunch of warm food. I'm going to summon the worm. And the vile thorn is a pretty great weapon. That was almost very bad. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, 
Oh boy. Okay, so we have a few of them. I may have, uh... That wasn't terribly well done. For the record. Oh god. Well, this is kind of ridiculous. Um, but I did manage to, in fact, defeat the Eater of Worlds. And I just have to collect all this crap that he dropped. <laughs> For a second there, I thought that, uh, the, uh... So I got a good number of shadow scales from that. Um, yeah, that wasn't that bad at all, actually. Alright, guys. I am... I think I'm going to summon another one. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Mmm. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. I am, in fact, back. And this is a little tricky because I have a giant worm chasing me, but I also have no light at the moment. Alright. And I am... I am back. Alright, there we go. Much better. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You know, I never thought about this. And this is really dumb, I guess. But I could have. I totally, totally could have, like, made this battleground a little bit safer by actually, uh. Hold up, I gotta get rid of these guys. So annoying. Where is it? I have some dirt blocks. Right, apparently you can't build on corruption. Well, I think you guys get the idea. Um, by building a little bit of uh, of a barrier there, it makes it a lot less likely that I'll get uh, knocked over the edge. Uh, where's that war axe? And sorry guys if this is turning into a long episode, um, again, I would be in the jungle right now, except for the whole fact that I die really quickly in there, 
Um, and unlike with this boss battle, the quick deaths come from, uh, from, oh, what's the word? Ah, uh, I'm, oh, from actual damage as opposed to falling down a chasm. Anyways, I have one more guy to beat. I, I may actually lose this. I, uh... I made the, the really big mistake of breaking them into too many pieces. Much better. I think I killed a bunch of the little ones. Guys, that almost turned out really badly. Um, <laughs> you saw, I mean, just how many of them there were. And he's defeated. Alrighty. Well, guys, we just defeated three Eaters of Worlds. Alright. Well, now that we've done that, I figure we might as well go down into the, uh... Oh, what's it called? Into the Chasm. It's not this one. Hold up, I gotta kill these guys real quick. Because <laughs> they are really annoying. Yeah, and so that actually, by the way guys, that I'm gonna change this out. Oh, it's this one, actually. Uh, no, 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 it's not, it's not. It's the one up here at the top. I make that mistake, like, every time. I am just marking the fact that this is actually the correct one. And hence why I have all the... All the lights coming down in here. But I'm going to be very careful as I fall, just because... Hold up just a second. I do not want to die because I have two gold pieces with me. Um, and so if I do die, I'd have to trek all the way back out here. And that's just, I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's a little bit of a pain. Yeah, and as you guys may recall, there are a bunch of shadow orbs still down here. Oh. Oh, come on. Sorry, it's really still chugging. I hate that, too. Oh, boy. 
I don't know if you can hear that, but my, uh, my pug's in the background. Uh, he's, you know, well, he's being a pug. Um, doing pug type things. Um, but yeah, so as you guys may recall, oh, that was it for the, um, that was the last Shadow Warp, actually. Okay, so I know there's some more up here, but I guess I have to travel the other direction. I really, the one treasure that's left to get from the Shadow Orbs is, uh, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna loot all of that. And, uh... <laughs> Do you see the, the one damage that my hammer did to him? Nothing. So, this giant corrupt chasm is pretty impressive. So many demon altars. I mean... At least now I know if I ever can't find one, I know exactly where to go. So there's several shadow pearls beneath me, um, but with every shadow pearl you break open, there's a small chance. Oh, a life crystal. That is awesome. Life crystal. I am very happy about that. What are these? That could be helpful. Winston? Sorry, that's my, my dog. Uh, he, I think, sees something outside. And he was barking at it. Or, or whatever it might be. Probably one of my neighbors. For some reason, like, my neighbors are really nice, but he just... Well... Winston's just not always the most friendly pug. Alright, so now that I have gotten all the stuff out of the top, I'm going to start smashing these... Uh, Uh, what should we call it? The shadow orbs. And I really hope I get the uh, that orb of light because that would be. Are there two shadow pearls in there? There are two shadow pearls, and wow, that is awesome. That's really really awesome. Uh, with the obvious exception of though that do that, that does double the chance that it will accidentally summon the uh, Eater of Worlds. Um, there's some blink root down there. A horrible chill went down my s spine and screams echoed around me. I got it. Sweet. It's actually not that bright, though. But, uh... I guess it'll do. Right? Now, where's that purification powder? Listen here, buddy. I'm just trying... <laughs> Look, I am trying to be nice. So, I don't know... I gotta be careful not to run out of breath here. Well, guys, I, um, 
I'm gonna deposit a bunch of this stuff. Got a lot of shadow scales, guys. Um, you know, I would hate to see that Eater of Worlds go to waste, though. So I'm going to go back and uh, kill him. But uh, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. I am back at the corruption. I don't see the Eater of Worlds, so maybe he went away. I was hoping to... Oh, yep. Here he is. Okay, I hear the distinctive music. Come on. I'm trying to evenly distribute the damage. See that? It like really throws up. I hate his like strangulation tactics, and sorry my computer's really freezing up again. He is just falling apart. <laughs> see what I see what I did there. there go. He's just about done. There's only a few pieces of him left. Ah, that was easy enough. So I think that's what four times in one episode. Well, what do you guys say we go back down into the mega corruption giant chasm before the sun sets and see what we can't find? Here's some death weed. I actually, I need to uh, review the alchemy and stuff and uh, start like a little garden or something in the game because that would be uh, high, highly useful, I think. Alright, I need the mining helmet for the way down because. Hold up. Second. Sorry guys, my my dog was being quiet and like a little too quiet. It turns out he was uh, eating my shoes, uh, quite literally. So uh, that's and then of course he runs and hides under the bed. I think there might be a shadow orb right over here. Um, only one way to find out. It's either a shadow orb or a, uh, well, or like, it's pretty constant. 
so maybe it's a place I've already explored. Yeah, it's just a place. Oh, weird. I'm going to see this because it has a torch of mine in it. I wonder if this pickaxe, can this Demonite pickaxe, can it destroy the Ebonstone blocks anyways? Yep. It sure can. I don't think you can really craft anything from the Ebonstone blocks. That'd be cool. Um, they should probably add that. Like, I think, you know, one of the really cool expandable things about Terraria is they can make a use for everything. Um, like Cobweb. I remember the classic moment in, uh... Hi, guys. Seriously? The classic moment when he, uh... Weird. The classic moment when he discovered, um... Uh, that you needed cobwebs to make the, like, necro armor. And he had thrown... Oh, I'm gonna put this up, because... That is dangerous. Yeah, I mean, the um, the music for the corruption is pretty creepy. All right, let's see what we got here. So some demon altars and uh, some demonite ore that I don't really need. Okay, so that's the last one I did. Winston, calm down. Don't know if you guys could hear that, but he was barking a little bit. And I know I don't need to use the pure purification powder now that my demonite pickaxe is strong enough, but it does speed things up. Um, and honestly, I don't think I have any other use for the purification powder because I don't want to wipe out the corruption or anything. Um, especially since eventually I'm probably going to abandon this world. Um, not because it's not a good one, but just because of, uh, the fact that the 1.6 or 1, no, the, I guess the 1.1 is coming out. Sorry, I got confused. Um, and when the 1.1 comes out, um, you know, that's going to change everything. So, let's see, hammer... A horrible chill goes down my spine, as per usual. And let's see. And sorry guys, this might be a really long episode. Um, if I'm not careful. I might... Okay, well, it's just the mega corruption. So there's a lot of it. Well, there were a lot of Shadow Pearls this direction. But I think I got a lot of them with that when that uh, thing happened. Uh, last episode. And it looks like I can, essentially I can mine three or four of them before a Eater of Worlds gets summoned. And he's not really the nicest guy. I have come to the conclusion. But he is really, really easy to beat. Um, at least now he is. Which is a good thing. I can get some breath here, I believe. Um, and you know what I'm gonna do? Is I am going to... Mine my way over here. And that way I can get... Uh... 
I'm just gonna be lazy. I'm mine my way over here, that way I can get both of these shadow pearls. And I don't know when a meteorite's gonna land, but it should be soon, I would imagine. I mean, my gosh. Screams echo around me, and I got a musket. And this one, I bet. A meteorite landed, finally. And the Eater of Worlds has awoken. Okay, hold up a second. Alright guys, you know the drill. I'll be right back. Hey guys, what's up? I am back. And at the Corruption. Um, and the Eater of Worlds. This is like the fifth one in this level. In this episode. Has arrived. And sorry if I'm quiet while he's... Uh, attacking me. It's so I can listen for the distinctive sound. That's oh. really chugging, guys. I'm sorry about that. This is just ridiculous. I think I recall there being some item. That allows you to, uh... It allows you not to be knocked back. I think that would be an awesome item to have right now. He's defeated yet again. <laughs> uh, that's so getting old, by the way. Hope you guys don't mind too terribly much. Um, I mean, again, you know, if if he gets summoned on his own, it just seems silly not to kill him. Um, and hopefully, again, hopefully this episode isn't too long. At the very least, though, I did kill the Eye Cthulhu a lot of times. And I almost went in that hole again, which is not the correct one. I've gotten a lot of gold from fighting him so many times, which is awesome. I think, though, I've fought him enough times now that if I fight him again, I might just do it off-camera. Um, because it's just ridiculous. As you can see, I'm being very cautious, very carefully descending this giant chasm. And now we're off to see if there's any more um, of this good old, um, oh, what's it called? Shadow Pearls. So it looks like three is the magic number. Um, yes, it's, it is the magic number. Um, okay, so... 
Again with this, I'm gonna see how far this chasm goes to the right. Oh, does it go up to? Yep, it does. Wow. Um, so I think this is a mixture of a lot of uh, a lot of chasms. A lot. Of them. I'm collecting a lot of things, by the way. I might actually even try to beat either of the worlds down here. I know there's a small chance I might lose the gold I have with me, and that would really suck. Um, but you know, the thing is, he's he's not that hard to beat. Um, and if I do decide to do that, I probably actually will. Um, Probably will just keep recording and show yet another Eater of Worlds battle. <laughs> and guys, I'm sorry about that. I know it has to be getting old with that, but um, I can't help it. He just gets being summoned. And I had all that worm food I had to use somehow. Um, oh, you guys should see this right now. My dog is ch like is vigorously chasing his tail. Wow, I almost died just then. Um, which would have really, really sucked. Um, a lot. And oh by the way guys, I did not I did not see the meteorite on the way out here. So I don't know where it landed. Horrible chill. I think I got another musket. And a jellyfish. Hold up. Yeah, I think my dog just gets really bored when I make these videos. Especially one this long. Um, because usually I spend a lot of time, I guess, playing with him and stuff. And so, <laughs> well, he's just a hyper little silly guy. Um, you know how that is. I need to move this. Ooh, okay, let's see. And it's chugging. Please keep going. I think it might just do this every now and then when Fraps, the, the, the program I use that is, it's called Fraps. Oh, oh dear. Yep. And see, it's all better now. I think it's just, um, Fraps automatically, oh. Perhaps automatically does that. Um, I got another vile thorn, guys. I'm, you know, I I know there's more to explore down here, but I'm getting kind of tired of it. So I'm actually gonna head back to base, um, and I think I'm gonna call this an episode. It's already pretty long, um, and I have a lot of stuff to organize. So I think I'm gonna make the rest of that shadow armor off screen, and then. Um, next time go to the underground jungle again and do as much as possible uh in there and see how long we can make it there so uh, all right guys i hope you enjoyed this episode be sure to like and or subscribe um if you so see fit and until next time guys take care later